If you are dabbling in AI and hear about Llama this, Llama that, you're probably familiar that Llama is a open source large language model from Meta, Mark Zuckerberg's company, right? And the big news now is that the third version, Llama 3, is releasing. But what does that actually mean? Uh, what makes Llama 3 so special and how will it change the way we interact with AI? I read these articles, as you can see here, to kind of get my opinion on it. And this is what I found out. So first up, let's talk about the power and performance of Llama. Llama 3 isn't supposed to be just a small step forward in large language modeling. It's uh, supposed to be, we'll see if it actually pans out, a giant leap with, I mean, a pretty large parameter, parameter size, which is 140 billion parameters. And think of them as the building blocks of AI, if you're not familiar. So Llama 3 has the brain power to take on even the toughest questions, supposedly, and deliver incredibly detailed and accurate answers. This opens up a world of possibilities from helping with complex research projects to solving tricky math problems. Okay, um, now here's the thing why I, I mentioned that before, why I like to talk about this. It's the open source AI aspect of the whole thing. Okay, so one of the most exciting things about Llama 3 is that it's open source, just like its predecessors. Uh, this means that anyone from seasoned developers to AI enthusiasts like me maybe can use and customize Llama 3 for their own projects without breaking the bank, okay? Um, by making cutting edge AI technology accessible to everyone, Meta is fueling a new wave of innovation and collaboration in the AI community, which is generally obviously a good thing, but remember, it's still, I mean, Meta basically has access to all the things that are going on in AI on the Llama platform. So keep that in mind. It's not all roses. We'll, we'll see. Overall, I love the, uh, the open source aspect of it. Now, let's get more into the gritty things. Um, the new thing about Llama 3 is the multimodal magic, understanding text and images. Yes, so Llama 3 is expected to have multimodal capabilities, which means it can understand both text and images. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities for AI human interaction. Uh, imagine being about, uh, imagine being able to show Llama 3 a picture and having it generate captions or even um, engage in a conversation about it. What it sees um, is just incredible. I'm actually trying to find, I, I got my glasses here somewhere. Mm, let me see, I just got those uh, meta glasses. Anyway, they just look like Ray-Bans, right? And the cool new thing is that now I can use them to basically take a picture. I had them here somewhere, maybe my kids took them. Um, you can take a picture with the integrated camera and have a conversation about what you see, whether it's your um, somewhere out uh, in a new country or a new city and you don't know what landmark you're looking at or, or things like that or you wanted to know some info about a certain building, then you take a photo and then Llama 3 uh, can immediately give you an interesting response. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. Now the showdown. Llama 3 versus GPT-4. Where does it, how does it stack up? How is it supposed to stack up? So Llama 3 is ready according to Meta, to take on OpenAI's GPT-4, which is another heavyweight in the world of AI and uh, language models. Now, recently, about two months ago, I, I kind of cheated on ChatGPT. I'm sorry. I canceled my plan. I switched over to Anthropic's uh, Claude 3, which was great. But now I'm kind of reconsidering because GPT-4 had a update that was a little bit nebulous they didn't really tell us what happened uh, but apparently it's better in writing uh now than claude again so this is interesting to see this live arms race let me know what team you're on are you team gpt4 or claude 3 or maybe llama i'd be no i'd be curious to know in the comments below so but get back to the topic so let's see if um llama can actually stack up with um, you know, its impressive capabilities and the advantages of being open source, maybe Llama, will, Llama 3 will have a real shot at giving GPT-4 a run for its money in a variety of tasks. Um, this competition is 
driving innovation and definitely pushing the limits of what language models can do today. Again, I would love to know what team you're writing on. Write it in the comments below. And when you're getting something out of this video, please like this post and you know subscribe, connect with me. I would love to hear from you. Moving on. So Meta has taken the lessons learned from Llama 2 and used them to make Llama 3 even better, according to this these articles here. Uh, what does that mean? They focused on making the model more flexible and able to handle a wider range of topics, even the controversial ones, okay? And by improving Llama 3's ability to understand context and adapt to different situations, Meta is creating an AI assistant that can better serve the unique needs of each user. If it, This is all theory, by the way, guys. It's not out there. So I'm curious how it will pan out a week or two from now, depending on when it actually releases. So what can we expect then from Llama 3? I think as we eagerly await the release of Llama 3, there's no shortage of excitement and speculation about what it might be capable of. Will it be able to speak multiple languages fluently? Can it generate structured data like tables and charts with ease? Only time will tell, but the one thing is for sure. Llama 3 is just the beginning of a new era in AI, just like last week's era, you know? Like every week is a new era in a sense. <laughs> so, And in this era, just like in last, the possibilities are pretty much just limited by our own creativity. So, um, parting thoughts. Why are we all doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm just really trying to be an AI enthusiast and embrace this uh, time that we live in and Llama 3 represents a major milestone in the evolution of AI language models, in my opinion, uh, with its supposedly unparalleled, unparalleled power, open source accessibility and multimodal capabilities. It is poised to revolutionize the way we interact and benefit from AI. As this groundbreaking technology continues to develop, it will undoubtedly have a profound impact on various industries and fields of study, in my opinion. The real question is, how will Llama 3 change the game for you? Let me know in the comments below. And again, what is your favorite language model these days? How are you using it? I would love to talk to you in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.